to a well-known New York family. <clears throat> if you do the mathematics, when I said he published it in 1823, quick and rapid mathematical calculations, he was 44 years old when he did that. But he became an author and was a noted Hebrew scholar. He spoke five different languages. And get this, he was an early real estate developer in Manhattan. Sound familiar? Now our next speaker, so lively and quick, could this possibly be our friend St. Nick? No. It's Robert Gordon who is going to explore just why he is known as Rob G. Ford. Okay, before. <laughs> Rob's passion is in changing the world through technology and the power of story. Over the past decade, he's held executive and consulting roles across all major sectors to thread technology, social impact, and brand together. He also brings to Marin 890 some previous experience as a featured speaker on entrepreneurship, digital marketing, branding, technology, leadership, and national service. But now he is looking to re-strengthen his speech writing, delivery, and confidence through Toastmasters experience. Tonight, Robert will be presenting his icebreaker speech as he commences level one in presentation mastery, in which he wants to focus on structure, tone, and delivery of his speech. Robert Gordon, why Rob G. Ford? Robert Gordon. Fellow Toastmasters and honored guests, this is my first Toastmasters speech, an icebreaker. Why Rob G. Ford? But what I want to do is I just want to give myself a moment to just reflect and to get my thoughts together since this is the first speech. I should probably start by talking about fear, I think, right? Because that's the thing that got me in here. Fear of speaking in front of an audience. Yeah. Maybe I should talk about fear in that day when I was waiting for my father to get home. Wait till your father gets home. Mm -hmm. mm. That was a fearful moment. But you guys already heard about that. I should have talked about that. Maybe I should talk about my passions. Dennis said that my passions fall in between the lines of technology and social impact and giving good to the world. I feel like I already touched on that too in Cable Comics a few weeks ago. I got it. Maybe I should talk about love. Because I've fallen in love 10 times, 11 times, 15 times, more times than I can count. The person that I'm currently dating, I actually met on an app. So maybe I should talk about that. Yeah. <laughs> maybe I should talk about what calms me. The thing that makes me super tranquil. Because I do have a propensity to fear things like public speaking. What are the, the things that calm me down? But you already know that I run, right? But you don't know that I meditate five times a week. That's something new. That still wouldn't cover the full four to six minutes. Maybe I should talk about happiness. That's it. The things that make me happy. Man. Maybe I should talk about dreams. Because everything that I dream things that I think that I dream mostly come true. I feel like that's a story for another day. I've got it. I'll talk about 
stories. <clears throat> stories are the things that have been the lining of my life, from fear to happiness to love to dreams. I should talk about stories. So wait, why RG4? I'll tell you why. R stands for, actually Y stands for fear. R stands for passion. O stands for love. B, that stands for calm and tranquility. G, stands for happiness. <clears throat> I, that stands for my dreams. But it's the color Violet, that stands for stories. And as some of you know, I have synesthesia. I see things in colors. I feel in colors. But the one thing that you know and the one thing that you could see over the past few months and over the past few minutes, I came from fear to hear. So it's my hope that over the next few weeks, over the next few months, over the next few years, I can begin to tell these individual stories of my life with you and share these experiences with you. Because I want you all to be as much a part of my story as anything. Thank you. Thank you.